This is made in Leeds headquarters at Savile Mount in Leeds. But this building has a bit of a past. It was built in the 1930s as the Leeds Jewish Institute, an organisation founded in 1896 to support the many Jewish immigrants coming to Leeds to escape persecution in Eastern Europe. Now, not only did the organisation provide financial support, but also gave the new arrivals a sense of belonging. Now, many of those coming in the late 19th century would have lived nearer the city centre in the Leylands, some of my own ancestors included. But in the 1930s, many of them moved to Chapeltown, having become more successful and prosperous. And this building will have served as a cultural centre and a social centre with activities like table tennis and bridge and also would have served to host parties for rites of passage such as weddings and bar mitzvahs. The building was later renamed the Jubilee Hall where dances took place and the grandparents and great-grandparents of many current North Leeds residents would have first met or gone out on dates. Later the building became the Leeds Trades Club, a venue for music including Leeds jazz, parties and occasional boxing matches. In 2001, after a major investment, it became what it is today, offices and studio space. And since 2014, the home of the best local television station in the UK, made in Leeds of course. Chapeltown bears witness to its Jewish past through some surviving buildings and remnants of others, but none more so than this one. Now at one time there were more than 14 synagogues in Chapeltown, but this was always the grandest. Opened in 1932, it was built in the Byzantine style with a grand dome and it once had a minaret on the side. Now it wouldn't have looked out of place in Istanbul, perhaps it looks more like a mosque than a synagogue, but the entrance is very definitely Greek. This synagogue had a capacity of 2,000 people and it was always the most popular in Leeds and apparently it was always full. But as the community drifted northwards to Moortown, Street Lane and Old Woodley, membership dwindled and the synagogue was closed in 1985, swiftly being reinvented as the Northern School of Contemporary Dance. Now, this is an international centre for excellence in conservatoire level contemporary dance training. It has eight dance studios, a lighting studio, a sound and video suite, a library, and this, the Riley Theatre, one of only a handful of dedicated dance performance spaces in the north of England. The Jewish population built numerous institutions to look after each other. So for example here on Leopold Street was a home for aged Jews and a Jewish hospital. Now this is number one Leopold Street and in 1924 it was bought by a group of Jewish businessmen and turned into flats. But by 1959 it was taken over by Leeds City Council and most of the people living in it were either Polish or from the Caribbean and they joined Serbs, Latvians and Asians all moving in to the area. The British African Caribbean community moved to Leeds between the end of the Second World War and the 1960s. Serious labour shortages led to the 1948 Nationalities Act, which meant that anybody living in the Commonwealth could apply for full British citizenship. Now this building behind me is the Jamaica Society, founded in 1978 and moving here in 1988 to support the needs of the community and also to celebrate the achievements of the African Caribbean community in Leeds and beyond. 
Now, one such contribution is the oldest established Caribbean carnival in Europe, dating back to 1967, and even predating the most famous Caribbean carnival in the country in London's Notting Hill. Now, such a diverse population also involves diversity of religion, and the area is served by a Roman Catholic church for the Polish population, an Anglican church with a mainly West Indian attendance, and this, the Church of God of Prophecy, again with an African Caribbean congregation. Now, with all the synagogues closed and with the influx of Muslims in the 1960s and 70s, mainly from India and Pakistan, mosques started to be built, culminating in the central Jamia Mosque on Spencer Place. Now this building behind me started life as a Union Chapel and then became a Royal Air Force Club and then a synagogue and then it became the Sikh Temple. But it's closed now and it's been replaced by a much larger building across the road. Opened in 1999, this massive building now serves the needs of much of the Sikh community of Leeds. On the face of things, Chapel Town is a melting pot of many different communities, some of whom have come here and moved on, and some of whom have stayed. In 2001, it was the only part in Leeds to have a minority of white people, but generally it works very well. Now there have been problems in the past, race riots in 1981 and 1987, but fortunately the problems are many, many years behind us and today Chapel Town is a vibrant and multicultural part of the city of Leeds. This is Jonathan Strait for The Lowdown Leeds.